Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix on the PlayStation 4. We are of course on the hardest difficulty in the game, Critical Mode, which is no joke. It's just no joke. In the last episode, we went to Twilight Town for the first time as Sora, really. Uh, and we learned a little bit. And we are here in the other Twilight Town. I almost said Twilight Zone. That's not what I meant. We want to head this way though, because as you saw in the last episode, we actually opened up this... This little portal over here, this aura of darkness, let's go through it. What is this place? Well, which way should we go? Riku, Kyrie. You know, every time that music starts it, nobody's there about to attack us. And these are just a bunch of dust, which means, of course, we are going to go ahead and do this. Now, unfortunately, I actually forgot to switch my uh, my Keyblade out. I was using Sweet Memories for a second, and I totally, totally forgot to switch it out, which is really unfortunate, because this Keyblade is not very strong, to be honest with you, uh, at all. Especially for the part of the fight that we are dealing with. It's no use. Don't stop moving, or the darkness will overtake you. Get going! Why? Don't ask, just do it! You okay? I kidnapped Kyrie, but she got away from me. After that, Syax caught her. He's a member of Organization 13. Syax, got it memorized? Now go save her! Leave us alone! Sora and Axel fighting side by side? Oh my god, it makes me happy! Now we need to defeat all of the nobodies by fighting alongside Axel. Right off the bat, we are of course going to use our Magnet Spell, which is actually great because of the ab opening ability that Axel actually uses is that huge flame thing, which actually knocks them all out of the Magnet and then into the Magnet. Now, we aren't done though, because now we have to deal with the new Assassin enemies. Well, not new. We actually dealt with them a such long time ago, but these guys can absolutely ruin your day. I'm talking, these are capable of one-shotting you and uh, it's super super hard to actually deal with them in any real way uh, but luckily for us it looks like we might be doing okay even more assassins are rocking and rolling in here so I'm gonna go ahead and cast that magnet so that we get the rest of them in here I'm not even joking fail safe right off the bat get rid of those guys uh, as soon as you get that reaction command, you want to use it if you can. I'm going to use Magnet on this guy just to see if I can. Uh, unfortunately, we aren't going to be able to. Luckily for us, he's going to go after Axel there, uh, which is very, very fortunate. And right just like that, we will finish off the rest of them. And Sora will get the ability Slapshot, which was incredibly useful in the first game. I think I liked it better when they were on my side. Feeling a little regret? Nah. I can handle these punks. <laughs> Watch this. Whoa! You're fading away. Well, that's what happens when you put your whole being into an attack. You know what I mean? Not that nobodies actually have beings, right? Anyway, I digress. Go. Find Kyrie. Oh, almost forgot. Sorry for what I did to her. When we find her, you can tell her that yourself. I think I'll pass. My heart just wouldn't be in it, you know? I haven't got one. <laughs> Axel, what were you trying to do? I wanted to see Roxas. He... 
was the only one I liked. He made me feel like I had a heart. It's kind of funny. You make me feel the same. Kyrie's in the castle dungeon. Now go. Axel. And we get the Bond of Flame Keyblade. Enhances magic to increase damage dealt with fire-based attacks by 20%. This leads to... Ah, oh, come on, let's get going! And another trophy is ours. The house is looking pretty empty, huh? I thought I'd get a little enjoyment watching Axel throw one last tantrum. But he went a lot quieter than I thought. Perhaps he was ready for it. Perhaps he put his existence on the line and won what he'd been longing for. Wait a minute. How would that even be possible? We don't exist, remember? What you're saying goes against the laws of nature. Then perhaps he bet his non-existence. Either way, he came out a winner. Oh, Axel. A grifter till the end. That's absurd. He won nothing, and is nothing. He couldn't stand the emptiness of being without a heart. And that led to his demise. He was foolish and weak. But... Weakness has the power to awaken that which is dormant. It is clear that through his actions, however foolish they may have been, Axel has touched Sora's heart. Perhaps he will soon awaken. that never was. Axel said Kyrie's in the dungeon. Then we'd better find a way to get to that castle. And of course, Donald and Goofy are gonna be put back into the party and we are ready to go. So this is the alley in between. Um, we can talk to these guys. This town sure is dark. This is where the nobodies live, right? Come on, let's try to find a path to the castle Kyrie's being held at. We can talk to Donald, who says the king went on ahead again. Can he ever wait up? No, not that I'm nervous, but I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, yeah. No, you, you know, you can also save here if you so choose. Now I'm actually going to get ready here uh, to go this way because I'm going to use my wisdom form. Uh, the reason why I'm going to use wisdom form is because we are actually going to get hit by a bunch of shadows. I mean, like easy easy peasy uh shadows which are easy enough to deal with because don't forget for every enemy we kill we get an experience uh for our wisdom form so this is kind of something that we're just doing while we're here it's not necessarily a good way to do it or anything right there we did just level up so sora now finally has quick run um you'll notice that i actually don't really use uh this uh, ability the wisdom form i actually don't use it that much outside of the specific occasions which is actually not the best idea because of the power of quick run in so many different situations if we would have had that throughout the game uh we would have been much better however i don't like to level wisdom form outside of certain areas um so unfortunately i didn't do that you'll also notice that i actually didn't even uh go and use the world map and that's because, again, there is there is a specific area to level. I just wanted to get quick run right now while we could. Because it hasn't been incredibly useful uh, throughout the game. It does have its moments, though. So if you do have the chance to do it, you, you probably should. Uh, we can actually look at this now. Quick run, run level 2. Tilt the left stick and push uh, square to sprint rapidly. 
We also have Slapshot, rapidly attacks a nearby target without getting flung back. Uh, but we also have uh, Quick Run, which means that we need more AP actually to be used on Sora. Uh, we're actually going to use a bunch of this. I actually used most of my ups off screen. Uh, always, always, always on Sora. AP boost is a little bit different. Use however much you need for Sora to get the abilities that you want um, and then equip other ones. So right there, we now gave him Quick Run so he can he can do this, as you can see. Uh, which is which is pretty fast, a pretty fast way of moving um, that he you know couldn't do, really do before, which is which is nice. It's kind of handy. And then we can just finish these off. These shadows. We do have one heck of a boss fight coming up, guys. Like a real tough one. Uh, and I'm a little worried about it. Also, Axel's gun, man. He gave his life to to, to grant us access to the world that never was. A guy that originally appeared evil. Seems to have had a relationship with, with Roxas, which we know. We've actually seen that. If you guys have watched any of the Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories episodes that I did. Uh, where I actually combined not only what the events of Chain of Memories and what was happening in there. But also the events of 358 over 2 days. Which is included as a movie on the, the disc on the PlayStation 4 uh, and 3 of 1.5. If you guys are interested in seeing 358 over 2 days. We will be adding some additional stuff as well because I do think that we need an, we need an episode of Kingdom Hearts where all we do is focus on the organization members, the ones that have been defeated, the ones that are gone, and maybe talk a little bit about the overall plot of Kingdom Hearts 2 because there's a lot going on and we've we've kind of only scratched the surface on it to be honest with you. Right here we can get a mithril crystal and then we can continue on uh, and use quick run whenever we want. Now that we have it, we should be using it all the time. Right here, we can grab another item, which is an AP boost. Good thing, because we just used a ton. Uh, and again, these shadows, it's usually just easy just to magnet them. But again, you don't really need to, just because of the way uh, shadows actually end up working out. It's just kind of like, eh, whatever. Uh, normally, what you would do is I would actually customize fire, uh, Faraga, to my bars. And I would just annihilate these guys real, real quick. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Now, we do have our drive form back, so we could use that if we wanted our wisdom form, uh, which I am actually going to pop right now, uh, just because I can, and then I'm actually going to cast Fire Gun. And as you can see, see, that actually does a tremendous amount of damage. It's actually a lot faster than using the independent shoot ability that wisdom form actually has. Uh, the only reason I don't use it that often is because I don't customize it. Uh, the reason I don't customize it right now, I will later, is because I need the things that I have customized more often than I would Fire a Gun. Uh, so I just don't. But just like that, we're already, I mean, we're already chewing through these guys. I'm actually just going to kill a couple of them. And then as soon as I get a little bit, a little bit closer to my drive gauge running out, I'm actually going to get out of here. So uh, we're going to head this way. But I want to take a minute before we begin to look at our abilities that we have equipped on Sora. Guard being incredibly important. Finishing Leap is going to have its place, so get used to using it. Slapshot is going to close the distance. Dodge Slash, Flash Step, Slide Dash, all about getting close to the boss fight that we have. Vicinity Break you could do without, but it's okay. Guard Break, eh, you also don't really need it. Your enemy isn't going to be guarding. Now, I also recommend Aerial Sweep, Dive, Spiral, and Finish, just because it allows you to do some aerial combos. Magnet Burst is good for free damage. Now, this one's incredibly important. Auto Limit. It will save your butt. I promise you. Equip Auto Limit. Trinity Limit can also be super useful. I will not be using Quick Run at all for this fight because it will it's actually a liability uh, because we can't really use Dodge Roll while we're using Quick Run. Uh, so we're going to be making sure that we have Dodge Roll instead. For our support abilities, I just want to show you that this is what we have. I won't be using Combo Master, but we do have those other ones equipped. Uh, like the combo plus and the combo boost, which is pretty important. Reaction boost, finishing plus, damage drive, incredibly, incredibly important. Um, those are the, the major things. Leaf Bracer, of course, being interesting uh, for this fight. And then the item, the abilities that I'm showing right now, MP Hastera, Defender, Damage Control, once more. Those uh, uh, death saving abilities are incredibly, incredibly important uh, for you. So, we have the decisive pumpkin equipped 
uh, as our main weapon. Don't worry about Valor or Master Form. We're actually not going to be using either of those two forms. So don't even worry about what you have equipped on those. For armors, I have the best ones that I can get right now. Uh, Protect Belt, Cosmic Chain, Gaia Belt. Accessories, the Sardonyx Ring, the Tourmaline, Tourmaline Ring, and the Cosmic Arts. Incredibly important. Uh, nothing that I currently have is better than those for accessories. And then those are the items that I have in there. Uh, the ethers are actually customized to my X. I'll actually go ahead and show you my customizing real quick, just so that you can see. I have Blazaga, Reflega, Kyurga, and Ether. Um, Kyurga is a mandatory, and so is Reflega. And you will see that played out a lot in this fight. So, let's, uh, let's get into it. Donald! Goofy! Huh? A Keyblade? And here we go. A boss fight against perhaps one of the hardest bosses in the entire game. Now, right off the bat, you are going to want to open with a Reflega, which is going to deflect all of that opening damage right back onto him. Then we are going to hit him with a combo that has a finishing leap in it to try to push him into his DM value. Now, I actually did not mean to use Blizzaga there. That was my fault. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I didn't mean to use anything there, uh, unfortunately. That's okay. We're going to get him into this. He's going to try to get us off of him by using his layer, uh, lasers, which is perfect. I'm going to use auto limit, and then I'm going to push him into this right here. His DM, his desperation move, which is his most damaging move. If you get hit by this, you'll die. Luckily for us, though, we can just dodge roll all around it, and it won't touch us whatsoever. Now, with the invincibility frames that are granted to us with Ars Arcane, and we can come in here, hit him in the face a bunch of times, which will do a lot of damage. He's, of course, going to hit us as normal, but that's okay because we are going to use Strike Raid which is going to let us do a ton of damage. And now we will heal, get, try to get our mana back while he's doing this. Hopefully should be pushed into his DM any second now. There it is. And now we will use our Aether to get all of our MP back, cure, and now we can kind of take it easy. When he uses his Desperation move, it is amazing. As long as you're tilting the camera and dodge rolling at the same time, you can avoid all that damage. Right there, we can dodge roll to deflect that. And then hopefully be able to get a finishing leap in there. Look at this. He is in his final health bar. And this is when he's going to start doing a metric ton of damage. Right there, he was able to do that. These beams that he does, these lasers, are really hard to deal with. But that's okay. We will use Ars Arcanum and go ahead and finish off our dear friend, Roxas. Someone from the dark. You can't be Riku. Riku. I defeated a Riku once. You what? Tell me. Tell me why he picked you. You 
seek answers. Is right, the new you. Look who's finally awake. <gasps> Axel. Or maybe I have it wrong. Might be time to sleep. Soon we won't be able to talk like this anymore. Does that mean it's time for me to go back to where I belong? You know, I've been thinking about something Namine said. Roxas, are you really sure that you don't have a heart? Is it possible that we all have one? You, me, her? Or is that just wishful thinking? I don't know. I can't just look inside. Yeah, I guess not. But I figure if there is something in there, inside us, then we'd feel it, wouldn't we? And if so, no, never mind. Come on, don't leave me hanging. Sora will find the answer we're looking for. I know he will, because he's me. <laughs> True enough. Uh, thanks. Man, I miss the old times. Still got it memorized. The day we met, and you got your new name, you and I sat right here, and watch the sunset. Yeah. This place is home. Me, Hayner, Pence, Olette. We've shared a lot of adventures. You'll see them again. I know you will. Yeah. You're right. Well, I should go. Sora's waiting for me. Yeah, I suppose he is. Man, this is some good ice cream, huh? Take care, okay? Right back at you. Buddy. You make a good other. a good other. Are you okay? What just happened? Gorge, I don't know. You just disappeared. Then me and Donald had to fight some nobodies. Oh. He said he defeated Riku. Who said that? That guy in the black coat. But nobody can defeat Riku. Y yeah you're right. A black coat means Organization 13. 
He must have been trying to trick you. Yeah, that must be why we didn't see him. Huh? You must be tired, Sora. Come on, let's just find a way to get into that castle. And with that, we get the Keyblade to become one, a weapon of great strength and magic that has a special effect. And Secret Ansem Report 8. And that'll do it for this episode. We get to the Memories Skyscraper, and uh, we'll, we'll be doing a little bit more in future episodes, of course. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was really tough. Uh, this fight took me a lot of different tries. I had to post-commentate the fight uh, just because, obviously, I needed to focus on what was actually happening on screen rather than talking about what was happening at the same time. So it's one of the few moments where I've ever had to post-commentate. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and in the next episode, we will explore the rest of what is laying in store for us here in the world that never was. Thank you for watching, and remember, never give up. Never surrender to Roxas.